Now we're going to be animating a bouncing ball. The bouncing ball is a classic exercise in animation. This may seem like a simple animation, but it contains many of the basic principles that we'll need when we animate. If you look at the hierarchy on the left side, you'll see that I have a group that contains all of the artwork for the ball and a path that is the ground. As we've already mentioned in other lessons, it's important to always create a generalized group that's called the root group. So we'll select both of our objects in the hierarchy and then hit Command G or Control G if you're on Windows to create a group. Now this group's gonna allow us to scale, rotate, or move our animation even after we've added keys. The next thing that we're gonna do is change the origin for our ball. So we'll need to select the ball group and then go up here into our selection menu and we can get to the freeze option. Now, once freeze is activated, we can move the origin down to the bottom of the ball. Let's hop over to animate mode and start animating. The first thing we'll do is set a Y key for the ball, and we're going to set it at its topmost position. So we can go over to the inspector and hit the diamond next to the Y property, and that's going to set a key. You'll see it here on the timeline. And if we expand the object, you'll see that we have that Y key set. Now we need to set a key for the down position. So let's go to frame 30 and move the ball on the stage down to where we want it to be. So align with the ground and you'll see that we have a key at the bottom. And when we scrub back and forth, you'll see that the ball starts on the top and then goes to the ground. Now we need one more key to return the ball to the up position. So we're going to copy the first key and we can do that by just grabbing this key here and then hitting command C and then command V with the playhead at the end. And that's gonna paste that key to the end. Now, if we hit the play button, we can see our bounce animation and it's looking okay, but there's no sense of gravity right now. And that's because we haven't added any interpolation. So to add some interpolation, we're gonna use the interpolation panel. And to get there, we're gonna to need to select our keys. So we can go ahead and select the first key here and we can change it to cubic interpolation. Now this curve is telling us that our motion will be slow at the beginning, speed up in the middle, and then slow down at the end. So we can actually scrub through our animation and see how that looks. And what we really wanna do is actually have our animation start really slow at the beginning and then speed up as it gets closer and closer to the ground. So to make that happen, let's pull out this bottom handle here and that's gonna give us a really slow start and then drag down the top handle so that by the time our object is moving, it's moving really fast. We can see that the first part of the animation works really well, but the second part, not so much. So let's adjust the interpolation of our second key and we're gonna use cubic again, but this time we're gonna make the exact opposite curve. So with this first handle, we're gonna drag it up so that um, we don't have any slow in and we're just really accelerating off the ground and then slowing down once it gets towards the end of the motion. Now let's preview this and see what we think. All right, so the gravity is taking over and things are looking a lot better, but the problem that we're gonna have is that the ball is not staying in contact with the ground for long enough. So to fix that, we're gonna need to add an additional key to make the ball stick. And we can easily do this by just grabbing this key here in the middle and pasting another one slightly before it just to give it a couple frames. And now we can center these two keys a bit better on the timeline. And when we play the animation, you're gonna see that we finally got that bounce that we're actually looking for. If you wanna change the speed of the bounce, all you need to do is adjust the timing in between your keys.